Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today it's another beautiful day which is a problem because the data center is overheating so let's just go in there it's right in here it's not so bad right now it doesn't feel that bad I have a lot of this equipment off and I'm done or we are done rendering out some movie clips some 3d effects clips and we are blowing in cold air but the temperature is still going up and when I reach up here I can feel that the temperature is pretty high and up here I have my net bots sitting uh, which is monitoring this kind of thing so um, we could go see what the net bot sees and every time it blinks orange over there that's because I'm moving here so it's it detects that I'm here so let's go and see the computer here it is, and the graph does not look good. Um, we can kind of see this. It sees one day. This is one day ago, right? So this is yesterday. Building up temperature. The highest temperature was about well, seven, eight o'clock, and then it it go went down again, and it reached its uh, lowest temperature six o'clock this morning, and then at at 10 o'clock <laughs> temperature went up again so um, data center in, is in some kind of shadow in there um, let's go closer let's see from 9 o'clock let's see the past 8 hours there we can kind of see that the temperature is climbing it's not going up fast but it is going up so that's a problem um, and I thought this would be a very good opportunity to play with the water cooling of the data center so i think we're gonna go and give that a try and see if we can if we can break this upgoing curve um somehow so that's the plan to put this into perspective here i have a pipe going out and it goes into this fish pond i'm pretty sure that i have killed off all the fishes by now but uh well there used to be fish in there uh some years ago so but the water comes out of the uh, ground here it comes from my basement and we're gonna go down and see that right now i have this garden water thing uh connected there we're gonna take that away because it's getting dry here you can see the grass has become dry so but over here is the air intake of the data center if you follow my channel you will have seen this multiple times right now i have a uh, filter on it the leaning tower of pizza i'm told that this is called so um, we're going to remove that and we're going to put in our or put on our water cooler so i'm going to try and cool down the air coming into the data center we are on the shadow side of the house here uh, the sun never gets in here someone was commenting on i should put this on the roof and if we see up here the filter is on the roof so nothing bad is gonna happen here uh, no problem whatsoever so yeah let's um, go see the water cooling thing uh, I haven't improved on it since last year but it's over here on my very messy table so here is the water cooler um, can I? I'm not sure I can move that with one hand so I built this last year so I have a, a couple of good videos uh, first I built one edition of it then I improved it and that was became this one I'm sure we can find some improvement to do on this but right now I just want to plug this in and see if I can get the temperature to, to drop so this has been built with coolers from PCs uh, if you are building a water cooling system for your PC, you will know these. I have just taped them onto this pipe, which goes over the air intake. So um, I have four PC coolers. I have two down here, one up here on top, and I have a big one on the side here. So air is sucked in this way through these two, uh, and through these other two and then into the data center that way kind of see that 
air cools that way in. Uh, water, the cold water from my basement, goes in through this hose here, which is a regular garden hose thing. I have put in some, I think I put in some coins in here. Ah, I forget. Something to not have the water come as, yeah, there is a, there's a thing here for my, from a faucet that makes sure that the faucet does not use too much water. I put that in uh, to not have as much water go through because just pulling a lot of water through here, well, that would be okay, but then I would run out of water. Well, the water runs in here, it goes through this cooler, then it goes up and goes through this cooler, and then it goes through the two other coolers. First it goes through that one and it goes through the top one so the idea is that the hot air which isn't that hot on the shadow side of the house goes in through these two coolers and get cooled a little bit then it goes through uh, this one gets cooled a little bit more gets through this one and gets cooled a little bit more as the water is coolest nearest where the intake is so that's the idea anyway let's hook this up and see what we can do we need to borrow the water from this. Yeah. I haven't turned on the water yet, so we're gonna take this and plug it in over here. Okay, so we're plugging it in there. And I have to go down and turn on the water, and the water will go through the system. But let's go to the basement and see why I'm doing it this way. Go so down here in my basement. Uh, I have a well, um, it's right there, underneath here, it's, uh, the, the, there's a big concrete thing down there, it's not very deep, it's about one and a half meter, I guess, deep until, and there is sand on the bottom of that, um, I have made multiple videos playing with this, I had a booster pump here, that's the one we're going to be using, that one is on a timer, which is sitting over here. If I don't pump water out of this well every day, or at least every second day, the basement will be flooded. And I did do a video also where I came up here to my playhouse and the pump had, uh, it has lost uh, the water in the hose, the, the transparent ho hose here going down into the well the water had gotten out of that and it was not able to suck the water up again so I came up here and there was this much water on the floor here and I had to go clean that up uh, I then made this uh, emergency system that's the white thing also there's a video available of that that one saved me this week because we have a we had a lightning strike and that one saved me so uh, otherwise I would have had water on the floor here maybe I'm not sure the water level is not that high right now but it's still good I can see it's there's about it's about half full down there so we're gonna we're gonna cheat the system here and and turn on um, the water here so we need to go from auto and we need to go over to on so now it's manually on and is now pumping water out. This water is about 10, 12, 14 degrees warm or cold, depending on whether you like cold showers. So let's go see what the water cooler says. If we are getting some water through there. Um, I probably should close the door to the data center, uh, but yeah, that would that would break our measurements. Let's see. We have water coming out through this hose, so that's the water flow right now. Uh, that's way too high. We don't need that high of water flow, but. That's amazing, nothing is dripping. Usually water is pissing out everywhere. Oh. 
didn't see that one. I was sure that I was gonna go and repair this. Inside the data center, underneath these shelves, uh, the air comes in here. I have this plastic box sitting there to rather direct the air outwards. So it's gonna hit the box and come out here. And there's a nice flow here of, of cold air. So, so far so good. That is working really well. Um, and I've mounted these strings so that you can actually see the airflow that something is moving. It's gonna be very interesting to see if we can measure a temperature drop or see that at the computer. I do also have a computer up here or a server that is complaining about temperature being too high in here. So if, if that orange light goes out, I will also have reached a lower temperature. That was really quick. Look at that. The curve here just bend it over. So something good is happening. Uh, I think we should let this run a little bit to see how far we can get this down. It's peak hot right now. It's, oh, it's very, very nicely temporized outside. You can kind of see the thermometer. Oh, it tells me the temperature inside and I guess my temperature outside has finally run out of power. Okay, we might just give that some power and be right back. Replacement batteries has been installed. These are rechargeables. Come on. These were not rechargeables, so they're probably not gonna last as long, but well, then they can be charged again. I should really uh, put some, put a lithium ion cell in here. That would be nice. So it usually sits here, right there. Nice, oh, tomatoes. So let's go over here and see. Water is still coming out. Very nice. Oh, very nice and cold water. So let's see if everything is going according to plan over here. Looks very nice. I think it's quite uh, interesting that I'm able to cool the whole room. And yes, you can stop typing. I have seen Linus Tech Tips uh, water cooling whole data. Oh, oh, what is that? What is that? Temperature is going up again. What is that? But why? Hmm? Maybe the temperature dropped a lot when I removed the filter. And then when I put on the cooling thing, uh, temperature is going up again. This is weird. Okay. Let's go see what the outdoor temperature says now. It hasn't connected to the outdoor sensor yet. Now this is weird. Now the temperature is at exactly the same point as when we started this tells it in Fahrenheit. Uh, I don't like this program that much. Over here it tells it in Celsius. That's the 34.2, which is apparently the same as 93.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, and that is very warm. Close the door to my data center now to uh, in the thought of maybe the hot or cold air was just going out of there instead. Let's see the last hour there. We see the temperature. It didn't drop a whole lot when you zoom in that much. And let's get 10 seconds. Let's get five seconds interval. Let's see what it does. But it's really weird that it hit that same temperature and it's just flatlining there. So out here, I have measured the temperature down here on the water coming in. It's about 17 degrees right there Celsius. If we go up here and measure the water coming out, um, it's higher. Somewhere in between, where could that be? About the 
same temperature up there. In the middle somewhere, 20 degrees, 22. Wonder what that sound is. Okay. And over here where the water comes out, it just disappears into the ground. Uh, there is not a lot of pressure on that so it's not far from what would be good but I need a lot more surface area on that cooler. In here the temperature has started to go up again so my water cooling even though it's working it's not really uh, cooling down the data center much. I was so sure that this was a success. I might have been a bit premature there. I have zoomed out to um, be looking at eight hours again. So we get uh, from this morning where the temperature started to rise and to now. Okay, so in the data center here, um, the temperature of the air coming in is about 22.2 degrees Celsius. Uh, the box over here that's about the same 23 degrees so the temperature has well it's still climbing and about the same rate as before I'm gonna go try and take off the water cooler and just have it blow all the air in there that it can see if we can bend the curve then uh, I'm guessing that the dip that I saw over here was uh, just uh, a lot of extra air coming into the data center and that helped cool down the data center a lot more than well than this does and now the motor here is gonna be able to suck in a lot more air than it was before so probably that is what's cooling the data center way better okay so now the pump is running i am um, watering the, the lawn right now so we're gonna turn it off again and i'll be sure to put it over to automatic otherwise i might forget that i put a thermometer down here i wanted to show you the temperature of the water down here oh uh, that was a bit clumsy but it's about 12 degrees celsius so the water coming out of the well it would be really good for this. It's something like 20 degrees lower than the temperature that is coming out of the server room and at least 10 degrees lower than the air coming into the data center as well. I do also pump the hot air from the data center into my house which is really not necessary right now but the air coming out uh, in is about uh, 34 degrees 37 degrees in here we can see that well just taking the the filter and the, the air cooler off has actually decreased the temperature by something like 0 0.4 degrees Fahrenheit in this case actually uh, which is not a lot the temperature 34.3 degrees over here uh, so yeah I need to find a better way to um, to cool this. I have a hunch to what might have gone wrong. I, oh, I think that maybe the filter uh, in the pump got down and hit the... Uh, yeah. We have gunk in here. Okay, we need a, we need a spanner. So we just happen to have a brand new spanner here right at hand. Uh, so let's try that out. Ah, okay. So even though it's a little banner, it's it has a big gap. So let's try this. See what it is we have in here. Yeah. So all of this is something that I've made to reduce the amount of water that is uh, coming through but I might have reduced it so much that well it clogs up uh, there is sand in the bottom of that well so we don't okay. 
잠깐만요. 자. But I don't think that had much to do with anything. I think the surface area is just too small here. So a little bit of this gunk, which I think came from the garden hose, and some sand that came from the well. All the different measures that I put in here to not have that big a water flow to reduce the amount of water that it would use. Well, it might have reduced it too much. I need to improve on this. So after some time, I have been playing around with other things like preparing new batteries in the basement to charge and stuff like that. Well, the temperature has kind of uh, done that. So it's, it's better. It's not rapidly climbing anymore. Better airflow was uh, better than water cooling. Okay, I had fun playing with this, even though I didn't get the result that I was hoping for. Clearly, I need to improve on my water cooling system for the data center. I need some more coolers to, um, to have some more surface area. So I'll have to go see if I can figure something out. Get some of those. They're quite expensive, but maybe I don't need that many to improve on this, but uh, I do need a couple at least. I would like a couple of those long ones. That would, that would improve it a lot. So thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see if we get this improved. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.